So for problem eight, we're going to go ahead and rearrange this equation to look a little more like something that we'll recognize. And we can clearly see from this that it fits the integrating factors method. So that's what we will use. So first we're going to use we're going to find mu and we're going to set that to what's multiplying the dependent variable. So well, we don't set it to just that. We set it to e to the integral of that. So we can pretty easily solve this. We know that the integral of 1 over t is just the natural log of t. And then we remember that the natural log is, of course, just log base e. So this actually equals t. So then the next step in the method is to multiply out this equation right here by mu. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and plugging in for t, where we see a mu, we're going to get this. Okay, so here we're going to end up using the reverse product rule, since we can see that this expression here is basically the result of the product rule, and that's going to give us nice thing is we can just integrate both sides with respect to t to get rid of this derivative with respect to t. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we simply solve out that integral. That's going to be t squared plus c. And then we can rework this into an explicit form. So we're going to have y of t equals t plus c divided by t. And there is our solution. <laughs>